We are sitting inside Anawan Women's House. We are looking to help women who are at risk of homelessness, leaving a life of addiction, and who are at risk or have been affected by domestic violence. We offer a seven bedroom residential program that is very much a family model. We cook together, we support each other in a number of different ways. We'll provide life skills, education and employment counseling, any type of supports that a woman would need to get to her best self. We're so grateful for the support from the Victoria Foundation because they've been able to connect us with donors who believe in what we're trying to do here and can help us with that kind of support. Being that community connector is something that we don't always have the capacity to do ourselves, but something we are truly appreciative for. We were interested in helping youth and women. We didn't want to have to do the research, and they'd already done the research. You know, then they gave us the names of organizations that fit that category. We were also interested in helping people who want to step up, people who want to get out of the situation they're in, improve their lives, and move forward. We're given a lot of confidence in dealing with the Victoria Foundation and certainly have more confidence after having dealt with them for some time now. We also decided that why wait and put, it, put this, these organizations in your will? If you give the money now, we could come here and see the, the result of, of, the, of the gift that we gave. Part of it is knowing that putting the money through the foundation, it's going to be dealt with efficiently. That's a big thing for us. If everybody in the community did what they can, whatever they noticed that they could help with, um, the world would just be a better place. If you can change one life, why not?